Now that's already a pretty good indication we have a lot of nitrite, nitrite I mean, um, there, but it would really be good if we knew uh, purity of our product and we can do some testing. Now that's already a good indication that we have nitrites, but it's not really that good of a qualitative test. I'd really like to figure out a purity of our product. So I've come up with this right here, um, because basically we can react urea with the nitrite in acidic solution and it will produce a mix of nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Now the thing about this reaction is that when you look it up you find this equation right here where you get uh, one molecule of urea reacting with two nitrous acid molecules of course because we're doing it in acidic solution so the nitrate nitrite is going to be as nitrous acid and that makes two molecules of N2 and one molecule of CO2 um, but actually it turns out that Another reaction also happens, which is this one, which only produces one molecule of nitrogen here. Um, and they actually both happen in solution, but this one happens when there is a huge excess of urea, whereas this one happens when there is not a huge excess. So if we use uh, quite a bit of an excess of urea, we can ensure that basically only this reaction happens. And well, if we do some maths on that, um, we get that for 0.2 grams of nitrite, we should get 130 mils of gas, assuming it's pure. And from that, we can calculate our purity. Now, the way we go about this is by adding about 200 milligrams of our crude nitrite product, along with a gram of urea, uh, into flask and dissolving that in about 20 mils of water. Next about 5 mils of dilute nitric acid, in this case about 10 to 20 percent, is added to it. Like this. And we measure the amount of gas produced to really drive the reaction to completion. We can also go ahead and heat it a little. So after letting it cool so the gas in the apparatus isn't hot and like throwing off our measurements, um, we have 66 mils of gas. So that means 61 mils without the uh, 5 mils of nitric acid, uh, which equates to 47% nitrite. Alright, I'm back with some more results. Um, this right here is the first batch of solid that came out of the reaction mix um, solution and I did some tests on it and it turns out this is mostly nitrate. Um, it has like 10 to 20 percent carbonate in it but it's mostly nitrate and then next up this solid here is the second batch of crystals um, after the solution was neutralized, or at least somewhat neutralized with nitric acid, um, it's pretty pure nitrate actually. It only got like 10% or 5%, more like 5% of carbonate in it as well. And lastly, we have the product, our 47% sodium nitrite as we just determined it. Uh, however, there is only 37.1 gram of it. So uh, yeah, that's not too good. And if we calculate a yield on this and based on the fact it's 47%, um, we get a yield of 21.5%, which is pretty depressing to say the least. But um, we can cheat a little here because, well, we know the nitrite content of these two recovered portions of nitrite. So if we uh, 
subtract that from our starting material, um, we can calculate a new yield um, of 32.5%. And you know what? 30% yield, that's pretty fucking alright. Alright, so uh, you've just seen me uh, sort of qualitatively test my nitrite that I made, but actually that last shot that was like oh, two or three weeks ago already, and in those weeks a lot of stuff has happened. Um, in fact, I've redone the whole procedure, the whole nitrite synthesis, um, this time using 25 grams of starch instead of 17, and the results are actually quite stunning. Um, basically, with 25 grams, um, the reaction is a bit more violent. Instead of like bubbling, smoking black goo, it's a uh, sparkling pot of lava, really. Um, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, the yield is about the same but based on starting nitrate. Not based on what nitrate was like consumed, but based on starting nitrate. So really, um, you get more product out of the same amount of starting material. Um, the yield is actually slightly better, and the product is more pure. So uh, that's the way to go, I guess. Only problem could be scaling it up because that reaction was a bit more violent and it might not scale too well. Anyways, got, uh, yeah, got a bit of nitrite now. That's, that's good. Not too pure, but got some. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, maybe it was a bit useful. I don't know. Comment if you have some sort of suggestions for improvement. And uh, yeah, till the next time, whatever that may be.